Uh, looks like I got myself into the middle of a squirrel fight. It happens out here. Hi everybody. I'm being kind of quiet because I'm hoping that a western tanager comes and lands on this perch and uh, that thing right there. I was out here hiking around in the woods and uh, just walked out into this clearing and there was a western tanager on this really nice perch right there with a nice dark background of uh, that dark green conifer situation back there and uh, these Western tanagers, oh, he flew that way. Uh, anyway, they're gorgeous. Yellow body, yellow and black body with a red head. And uh, it was a beautiful scene right there. And so I just kind of planted myself here. He flew up into a tree up there and I've been watching him hoping, like a lot of animals or creatures of habit and they like to hit the same perches, birds. Uh, and so I'm hoping that maybe he'll come back and land there. And then I, it should be a really nice photo. So I just saw him fly back about 40 yards that way and I lost sight of him. But hopefully he's in this area here. And if I just hang out here for maybe, I don't know, 15 minutes, half hour, see if he comes and lands on this perch again. It'd be really sweet. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm, hope, uh, I'm hopeful. Um, I've got the Nikon 400 with the teleconverter and gauge. Z9 and a little vlogging situation going on up there. So anyway, it's a waiting game now and uh, see if I can get a lovely picture of a lovely bird here. Right out there. So I waited at that perch for about 30 minutes and uh, that tanager never came back. But I have been seeing a couple other males flitting around. Actually, there's one right up there. Uh, so I'm kind of looking for him in the shade because right now the, the sun's kind of direct and harsh overhead. But when I find one that's landed in a shady spot, I can try and get some nice pictures of him that'll really emphasize the color. Oh, hey buddy. Um, I think I spooked him. Yep. Squirrel. Oh, whoa. Hey, buddy. Uh, looks like I got myself into the middle of a squirrel fight. It happens out here. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna get back on the tanagers. Like, uh, there were a couple flying around just in this little meadow. And uh, I'll see if I can get one to cooperate and give me a nice photo op. Ooh, there's a female. So that's why the, the boys are around. I don't see any boys right here, but that was a female Western Tanager. So I imagine they're chasing her around. Okay, I'm gonna put the GoPro down and try and do some big lens work here. See if one of the males will come pose for me in a nice spot and nice light.
I just found another awesome perch. There was a western tanager on it when I came into this meadow. That stump. Right at the base of that tree right there. There was a western tanager, a male, sitting on that. Ooh, one just landed right here. He's totally, oh God, he's got such a beautiful bright red head. He just caught a bug midair right there. How cool was that? Man, I hope he sticks around. He's got the prettiest head I've seen yet. Just super cherry red. Anyway, that, um, that stump over there, he was sitting right on that and that would have been killer. Um, he's on an ugly branch right now. Uh, so it might be worth hanging out here and see if he lands on that thing again, since the other perch didn't work out for me. Maybe the second time will be a charm. Uh, anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait and hope for the best here. But that guy's awesome. Super beautiful red head. Man, it is like a festival of Western tanagers in here. It's awesome. I totally wasn't expecting this. And it is exactly what I needed. Uh, just having a great time. Wandering around in these woods, all alone, no crowds. There's another one right there, it's cluttery. And kinda, everywhere I look, every time I find one of these little meadows, there's at least one male western tanager in here bouncing around. Uh, and they're moving perch to perch to perch, and I just kinda gotta find one in good spots. And what I'm looking for is a nice clean perch without uh, clutter in front of it and with clutter behind it ideally far enough away that I can blur it out. Uh, I'm currently shooting at 800 millimeters uh, so I have very shallow depth of field so I can blur out the background to nothing very easily uh, and then ideally I want to find a dark background too so like uh, well there's not a real good example right here but uh, like if I had something I would use those dark that dark conifer as my dark background and man that beautiful old log right there would be incredible i'd love to see a great gray owl on that honestly uh but anyway i'm just finding oh there's a it's on a cool perch let me see if i can find a good background on it but uh these birds are just moving around all over the place so giving me lots of neat opportunities and a bunch of terrible ones all right so look at this one you probably can't see this wide angle it's, oh, he just flew. Kind of as expected. But uh, I'll show you this perch. That perch would be exactly what I'm looking for, except I've got clutter in between me and the perch. But there was a tanager right on top of this thing. Right? So that would be awesome perch. And uh, then, you know, like I could get this dark background right behind it there. Or, you know, if I was over here. That background could look really nice. Uh, so anyway, that's kind of what I'm looking for out here, is a nice clean open perch without a bunch of clutter, and then ideally a dark background so that yellow uh, on, the, on his body is awesome. So here's a female, I think, is that a female? On that perch out there, that log, it just flew. But that's a perfect little perch I'd love to have one on too. Nice, clean, beautiful perch. And then that dark background. So the yellow of its head and the red of its head are just going to stand out like crazy. And there's a female right there that just landed. So that one isn't quite as good of a perch. Uh, the background's a little too close to her. And the foreground has a bunch of twiggy, sticky stuff that I don't love. So, but if she bounced down to that thing, then I've got something to work with there. And the females are, they're kind of cool. They're like green, but they're not like, the males are just spectacularly beautiful. So it's awesome. I'm just wandering around the forest looking for these cool perches. And uh, hopefully there's enough tanagers bouncing around in here that I found some really cool perches that they've landed on and made some nice photos today. 
Uh, so this is awesome. All right, I'm gonna keep at it here for a few more minutes. Because it's so much fun. All right, I'm headed back. Heading back to my car. Uh, as I mentioned earlier in the video, like this is exactly what I needed today. And I didn't know it until I was in the middle of it, but uh, life has been really difficult lately. For the last like six months, I've had a really hard family situation going on. Uh, unfortunately, it's still ongoing. Uh, I don't even know how much to tell you about it, but um, anyway, it's, it's a really hard situation that I've been dealing with. Uh, my whole family has, and so I haven't been getting out to shoot at all, really. Very, very little, and I haven't been getting out in nature much. So, even just to go for a walk and photograph Western Tanagers for an hour or whatever, maybe it's been two, I don't know. I lost track of time, which is a great sign. Um, boy, did I need that. Uh, so it's just wonderful to be out here and I lose myself in the viewfinder. It's like Everything else goes away for a while and that's what I needed because I have not had that in months and It's really good for me out here. But anyway, I hope this one uh, was reasonably entertaining for you and uh, I'll see you on the next video. All right. Have a great day and uh, happy photography